True believers, watch as once again frightening forces are at work in our world, ready to wreak havoc with our very existence. is what it is. Am I the only newspaper man in the city that realizes what a menace that webhead is? Uh, Jameson, can you, like, keep your voice down? Um, I'm really trying to get Mary Jane on the phone. People lionizing that freak. Next thing you know, there'll be a musical about him with a chorus line of dancing Spider-Man. <laughs> I'd for sure to pay to see that. Oh, Mary Jane, uh, hi. This is brilliant. Brilliant. I finally think you made a breakthrough. Thanks. Norman Osborne. Long time no see. Go get security right now. But what about you? He can hurt you. I'll be fine. That won't be necessary. This will only take a few precious moments. Uh, a good horror movie, huh? I would love to, MJ, but I'm working with Dr. Connors on this cross species and genetics project. I had to give a sample of my DNA to see if it'd be compatible. I'm still waiting for some test results. Permanent files, huh? Great, so 100 years from now, we can clone you. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think so. Well, how about I come there and we grab a late dinner afterward, okay, Tiger? Uh, sure, yeah. Anything for you. And, uh, I love when you call me Tiger, by the way. It's like a blast from the past. But, um, uh, I'll be at Dr. Connor's lab. I'll, um, I'll see you soon. Just meet me at Oscorp. Time that we open up your memory, Norman. It's time that you remember who you really are. <laughs> huh, looked like there was an alert coming from inside of Oscorp. Man, that place don't ever get to rest. I need to go check it out. Hey, Pete. Pete, uh, whenever you get this message, I'm heading over to Oscorp. There's something going down over there. Huh, look, I got a message from Miles. Let's hear it. Hey, Pete. Pete, uh, whenever you get this message, I'm heading over to Oscorp. There's something going down over there. Better head over there. Fast. What are you doing to me, Otto? Like I said, Norman, I'm pulling a very special memory from the back of your mind that I need to help me in this operation. Uh, oh my goodness. It's Norman and that dog. I gotta save him. Norman. Norman, I'm here to save you. I can't see you. That's for the better. Let's go. I don't think so. Oh, it's you again. You're not stopping my plans this time. Tell me, child. Was this all worth your life? <laughs> don't worry, Osborne. A few more precious moments and you will be very useful. I don't think so, Otto. <laughs> Spider-Man. Nice to see you again. Time to burn. Whatever it is you're planning, Otto, I'm taking you down. You're not getting away with this. <laughs> oh, contraire, more. I believe I am. We are. Pete. Pete, wake up. Pete, come on. Miles, we gotta get after him. They're, they went out that way. Uh, he's trying to restore Norman Osborne's memory. He's trying to bring the Green Goblin back. We need to stop them, Miles. I'm gonna need your help. I'm all... Peter. Peter, Peter Parker. Uh, hello? Peter, Peter, I need you to listen to me. You are in grave danger. You need to get out of Oscorp now. And why? Tell me why should I abandon my duty? As Spider-Man. Because, because Oscorp is where you die. And why should I listen to voices in my head that usually doesn't end well? My name is Miguel O'Hara and I'm from the Spider-Man from the future. Well, Miguel, until my death happens, I'm not leaving this building. Oh, shock. Everybody fall in. Oh, no. I did it. He restored Norman's memory. He's the goblin again. Spider-Man, long time no see. 
As a matter of fact, the last time I seen you, it was about Gwen Stacy's death. Miles, don't worry about me, okay? I need you to go search for Ock. Whatever he's planning right now, he needs to be stopped. I got the goblin. Can you do that for me? Yeah, Pete. Yeah. Like I said, Miles, don't worry about me. I got this. <laughs> Come on, itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> Whoa, hey, I'm Miles. Oh, this is not good. So, you guys want to see something, uh, kind of cool? Whatever it is, kid, do it fast. Wow, that actually was pretty cool and impressive. What's your name, kid? Oh, my name's Miles. I'm from this world. Huh, my name is Miguel O'Hara. Where's Peter? Were you with him? Yeah, he's um he's back in some laboratory with the Green Goblin. Oh no. No, 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 that's exactly what I saw. That's where he died. Oh, I never thought I'd see this day. You can take care of the rest of him. I had my fun. But don't take too long. On it. Uh, Miguel, I should have listened to you. You were right. No, no, no shocking way are you about to give me last words, Parker. You're gonna get through this, I'm on my way. <clears throat> Any last request, Parker? Yeah, how about a breath, man? <sighs> Peter! Too slow. I, I, maybe there was something I could have said that could have made him listen. This is my fault. W where are you taking him? I have an idea. Spider-Man is dead, Otto. Yes, but we still have one Spider-Man left to worry about. Huh, that shouldn't be a problem. With our manpower, there's actually more Spider-Man out there. And they came over into this world. So you're telling me that there's more than just one Spider-Man? We have a, a whole arsenal of them to worry about? Exactly. Norman Osborn, just stay calm. We will help take them down. Good. It's great to know that all of you are in with us. This has to work. It has to. Don't worry, Peter. You get your rest. We'll take these guys down. Oh, man. I hope Peter's gonna be okay. I really do hope so. Yeah. From where I'm standing, he seemed like he was a really good Spider-Man. Yeah. So what do we do now? I mean, how are we gonna get back home? Huh. Are you asking the wrong guy? I don't know. I mean, just even the way how it feels, it may seem like we may be getting back home not anytime soon, or maybe so, but I'm going to need some help from all of you. It's coming along very well, I presume. Yes, Otto, very well. But there are a few main requirements that we need for this, at least for the quantum causality to work functionally and not malfunction. No worries, we'll retrieve them. I don't think so, Octavius. Whatever you guys got going on here, it's gonna stop right now. Uh, you Spider-Man are not gonna get in my way. Not this time. I would not have a wall crawler ruining my plans. We need a different location. This place is compromised with wall crawlers. No worries. I know a perfect place that they will never find. Come on, Miles. Miles. We can talk to her. She's just a girl. She's a very pretty girl. We can talk to her. Just build up the courage. Okay. So, uh, my name is, um, Miles. Miles Morales. My name is Gwen Stacy.
Nice to meet you, Gwen. All right, Miles. You can stop staring at her now. You're being weird. Totally weird. She is pretty, though. Huh. Sure, that's her out. Yeah, I could. Peter, are you okay? Gwen. Oh, she's not that Gwen from the one you told me about. She's from another dimension. Oh, what's going on? Did you guys stop gobbling? As a matter of fact, no, we didn't. I'm glad you're up, though. We need your help. Come on. So what's going on, Miguel? It's a lot, Peter. It's a lot. We need to stop them. Look, they're trying to harvest energy from another dimension. And in doing that, they're going to cause all of our realities to basically collapse. We will be stuck here. We all need to get back to our times, our homes, our realities. And we need all the right parts and stuff to actually get back before Ock and Goblin does. Well, I can help with that. Now that I'm back, and it's nice to have you back, Peter. You gave us all of a great shock and scare. Yeah, so why don't we get on to it so I can get back home? Not, not to talk down on this New York, but I like my New York better. Well, hey, I think maybe we should hit up the two main important places. Exactly. Oscorp, and that'll be Alchemax. In my time, there's um, some material there that'll be useful here that's not invented here yet. So in the future, is that more of a indefinite answer? In the future, like I said, Otto, you become a well-respected scientist. Spider-Man's death is only the beginning of it. But what if Spider-Man didn't die? Don't worry, Otto. There's still a lot to come that you don't even know about. Man, what what happened to this place? Look like some sort of monster came running through here. Yeah, sh yeah, you're right. But I don't think this is no monster. I'm, I'm with the kid. Yeah, I see footprints. Big, heavy, and... Yeah, they're, they're, they're leading out. Listen, Miles, I'm going to need you and her to go follow those tracks. They lead out. Just follow them until you can't see them anymore. On it. We're going to stay here. I feel like whatever was here, somebody was looking for it, and they're going to be back. Ha! We made it. And there are the tracks. They lead right down in that sewer hole right there. Oh man, not the sewer. So, uh, you wanna jump down first? Whoa! Oh man, this ought to be fun. Gwen! Lizard thing escaped. So, uh, I. Never mind. It can, um, wait for another time. Come on, let's go. We're wasting time here. Well, that didn't go as planned, now did it? No, it shocking didn't. I hope Peter and the others got more luck than we do. All right, Miguel, I'm in the system now. Now tell me, how can I access this? Huh? Try typing in my password, L-Y-L-A. Okay. Hey, P, we got company out here, but you don't have to worry. We got this. <laughs> you won't stop us. Not today, Spider-Man. Yo, yeah, Miguel, I'm in the systems now. But, but what? But it says Mary Jane dies at Oscorp tonight. What? How do you know that? Oh, for shock's sake, Parker. I told you not to go poking around in the archives. Fine, whatever. Yes, I'm a nosy Spidey. But now that I know, now what? What, now I have to go save her? Come on, man, we got enough to deal with. You can't mean that. You can't allow for someone to suffer or die because you do nothing. If you don't get that... 
then you shouldn't even call yourself Spider-Man. It's you who don't get it, Parker. The future, my future is meaningless without her. This would be a shocking mistake. I owe you, Miguel, big time. The shocking right you do, but maybe this would be like a debt paid to you for all the world means to you. Thanks, Miguel. I mean that. Yeah, don't mention it. I'll go save her. Oh, man, I gotta get back home. Knowing that my family and loans are gonna die, I, I can't stay here any longer. <laughs> you guys ready to give up? Cause we can go all day. <laughs> and soon time, you won't be talking. Let's get back to the boss. He's waiting. Uh, guys, I think we got a bigger problem than those two goblins. Oh man, and the other two got away. We gotta take this thing out first. At the same time, escape with our heads. Yeah, you're right. So, let's take this thing down. Let's. I said score for Team Spidey. Miguel, give me an update. Have you found her? No, Peter, I'm still looking. Hopefully my shocking luck hasn't run out yet. I'll just run into her. Wait a minute. I think I hear something. Peter! Peter, I found MJ, and she's looking for you. Oh, this is all my fault. Don't worry, Peter, I'm a saver. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. MJ, go. Run! Get out of here! Oh, jeez! Okay, time to take you down, lizard. Miguel, how's it coming? You gotta give me a minute, Parker. I'm still dealing with this lizard. This lizard got other plans. But please, just hurry! Hello, my dear. Alright Peter, the lizard is down. I'm getting ready to go find MJ. I told her to run and hide. Wait a minute. She's not here. W what? W we'll find her, hurry! Wait a minute, I hear something. Pete! I found her! The goblin has her! Where is she, goblin? No, oh, she's safe. She's just hanging around. All right, Pete. You can relax now. I got MJ. Th thank you. I really mean that. Thank you. You're talking to Peter right now? He got some sort of cell phone under that mask? A cell what? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh, can I? Don't worry, MJ. You two have everything you want to talk about. You have your whole lives together. Look, I just want to say thank you. You're as brave and unselfish as another guy who goes by the handle Spider-Man. You're a worthy successor to the name. So what else are we missing for this project to work? We need the quantum box. It harvests enough energy for us to, well, let's say open up a wormhole to the other dimensions. Not a problem. I will be in and out before they even know whatever happened. Whoever these guys you're talking about won't see me coming. Peter, we have to think. What else are they missing for the auto's device to start working properly without malfunctioning? I think I may know. You guys have something here called a quantum box. Yeah, yeah we do. 
but what does it it holds enough energy to actually power up that device to open up different wormholes to different realities if we can find out where that is and get it maybe we can put a halt in their plans do you know where it is peter i think i do but i'll go grab it okay cool Oh, Steve, Nat, can you two go check out this anomaly? Something tripped our silent alarm. It may be Spider-Man again, but just go check it out, okay? Yeah, no problem, Steve. And when we get back, we're going to search for MODOK. All right. Let's go. <laughs> the quantum box. I have it, boss. I'm on my way back now. Stop. Ah, Captain Rogers. I love to chat, but I gotta go. Dang it. He got away. Tony, he got away. And he took something of ours. This is not good. They took the quantum box. I mean, do you know what that amount of damage that thing does in the, in the wrong hands? I don't even want to imagine, Tony. Neither do I. Don't worry. We got enough to deal with already. I just hope. Oh, Peter. Did, did somebody come by here and take the quantum box? Yeah, yeah, they did. Why, kid? You, you searching for the guy? Yeah. It's a long story, but I'll explain to you guys later. I need to find out. Where did he go? I don't know. He just shot through the ceiling. Oh, man. Gentlemen, I believe we are finally ready for my plan to harvest energy from all dimensions. It is now ready to be set in motion. Now each of us can change the course of our destiny and time. We all will now have our own way through time and space. Okay. Yeah, I promise I'll check in more. Yeah. Hey, Gwen. Is everything okay? Look, I know... It's been kind of crazy around here lately, and a lot of bad guys are trying to take over the city, but if it, you know, means anything, I kind of got a crush on you. But you just keep that between us, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Miles. No problem. Whoa, we need to go see what that's about. Let's go. We need to protect Madame Webb. We can't let her take her. We have to protect her. Oh, there's nothing you can do for her. She's coming with me. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Peter, they took her. We don't know where they are. This is bad. What happened? They got Madame Webb. Doc has Madame Webb. And if we don't find them, they don't tell them what they can do to her. Oh. oh, man, this is bad. <laughs> Madam Webb. It's not one of the Spider-Men, but this is actually the perfect pick. And why is that? Because Madam Webb is the one who contains the energy to open up the portal. Let's give it a little test run, shall we? Huh. And who are you? And where did you come from? I am Black Tarantula, and I come from the Negative Zone. Alright guys, we need to find them and get Madame Webb back. Just cause she's gone don't mean we're giving up, we're actually more motivated now. And she's the only way how you guys are gonna be able to get back home and to keep your universes intact. We're gonna do everything we can to find her and get her back. Okay? We have to. It's what we do as Spider-Man. So what do you mean when you say you're from the negative zone? I was imprisoned there by Tony. I've been there for a while, but thankfully enough, you got me out. You helped me escape from the negative zone, and now I'm free. Yes, and I can tell that you're very useful and resilient and resourceful. Alright guys, you all split up and go to the different locations. 
Each location is one of all those different labs and, and layers. I'm here at one now. Contact me when you find anything. So you're Spider-Man. <laughs> he told me you'll come here. Huh, so I guess Doc Ock is sending goons after me now. Too scared to handle me? No, uh, not that. He's just, he wants me to soften you up. He told me not to kill you. Oh, that's very generous of Otto. I guess he does still have a, a nice heart under that cold, fat exterior of his. Huh, you're lucky. If it was up to me, I'd snap your neck now. But Otto wants you to suffer. And I kind of respect him for that. Huh. See you soon, Spider-Man. I need to follow him. Maybe he can lead me back to Otto's hideout. Gentlemen, we have exactly everything we need to power up this device. It's only a matter of time before we all are able to travel through time and space and rule every inch of our dimensions. You see, I'm willing to break time to make things go my way. And that is exactly what I'm doing here. Oh man, every single last one of my villains are here. This is not good. So, we're all combining our forces to take down Spider-Man. I don't think so, Otto. I'm not alone. I have friends with me. Guys, it's bad. They have Madam Web. I didn't see her, but he did say that she's there. All of our villains and our worst enemies are all in one place. They're, they're really trying to gang up on us and take us out. But well, don't worry, Spider-Man. We're all in this together. We're gonna take these guys down. And at the same time, we're all gonna get home. I know. It's just, I'm, it's just I'm afraid for Madam Web. I don't want her to get hurt. Guys. Please, our worlds are collapsing. You have to do something fast. Okay, let's not waste any more time. But first, I must suit up. Jameson, it's time for my revenge. Hey, Gargan. Uh, Spider-Man, I don't have time for you. Leave. Oh, I can't do that. As much as I want to, I still have to save Jameson. Uh, you're lucky, Webhead. Otto ordered us not to kill you. Oh, how generous of him. It lets me know he still has a heart. I'll be sure to pay him a visit and thank him. Jameson, where are you hiding? Uh, you ruined my life by trapping me in this suit, so now I'm gonna ruin yours. Listen, Gargan, it's a new millennium. Lots of high tech. There may be some way we can get you out of that suit. Hey, Gargan, think fast. <laughs> now this should hold you until the police arrives. For this webhead, Jameson is mine, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Oh, yep, yeah. I'll just show you. Hey, guys, I just took down one of Otto's henchmen. It's Scorpion. You guys should spread out across the city. I feel like Otto's trying to draw us out, and we'll all meet back at the hideout. So, uh, so Jonah, are you, um, are you okay? saving my life but it won't oh, work come on jonah at least you can give me some praise here i mean i just saved you from scorpion at least you can express how you truly feel a feckless treacherous unhinged menace okay 
so Pete said to spread out across the city. Otto sending his little henchmen out to draw us out. My spider sense has led me here. I don't know why yet. <coughs> ah, you again. A kid. You ready for round two? Oh yeah, most definitely. <laughs> Spider-Man taught you well, but not well enough. Come on now, kid. There's no need to hide from the shocker. No one's hiding. But, I believe you're gonna be the one that's gonna be in shock. So Shocker's down, and Pete took down Scorpion. That's two out of the, I don't know how many henchmen that Otto has. Huh, you tired yet, pal? Nah, I'm savoring every moment of this, cause when you die, That'll be the victory for me. Yeah, I don't think so. Ugh, you're more annoying than the regular Spider-Man. Oh, really? Well, I guess that just must be a charm of ours. Well, we took down our guys. Let's head back to the base. Yeah. time. We shall not procrastinate any longer. Electro, turn on the device. Power it up to full charge. And now it begins. We drain her essence to fuel the machine. <laughs> So, I'm just gonna do a couple more things, and then we can go to the park. Wanna go ahead and get ready so that way we can just head straight out? All right. Huh, it's looking really good. Thanks, Pete. And I hear you guys are going to the park. Yeah, Sue told me to take him out, so I thought, why not take him out to the park where he can run around and play with the other kids. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I just finished the last two upgrades. Your suit. It's complete. Thanks, Reed. You know, it truly amazes me. The fact that you're able to manipulate time on such a level that allows you to draw energy from the whatever dimension and travel to it. You are one true special specimen. And harvesting your energy will only make it easier for me to fulfill my plan. <laughs> Alright guys, I know where Auto is located, but when we get there, we're gonna have to find a way to like destroy that machine that he's got without it harming any of us and harming Madam Webb. So, anyone have any suggestions? Anything. Maybe we could overcharge it. If we overcharge it, it could explode. It'd... No, no. It's not gonna work. If we do that, then that's harming Madame Webb even more. I could drain it with my powers. Yeah. But wouldn't that be harming you? Not really. But it could work. And that's our only hope. We have to get home. We're doing it. Let's go. You three, go outside and wait with the others. Spider-Man will be here soon. And we do not need any interruptions all right while you guys are fighting them me and miles we're going straight in the vents we're going straight to auto this ends today auto we're shutting you down and there's nothing you can do about it oh you're not doing this to me this time no i won't allow it
You're the reason for all of this. If you wouldn't have stopped it, it would have worked last time. Yes. Yes, it's working. Yes, it's working. Soon villains will be falling out of portals in the sky. All right, Miles. I got, I'm gonna be the distraction while you go and drain the power from that thing. No, you're not draining anything from this. This is a masterpiece. You ready, Miles? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. On your go. Now. No. What are you doing? No! Oh. There's other spider women from other universes. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm guessing when Otto opened the portal, he opened the portals to other heroes. <laughs> it looks like I'm joining the party right on time. Please help me, Peter. I help you. I tried to help you. And you just spat in my face. I worshipped you. Your mind. The ability to want to help other people. You have to help yourself now, Otto. I can't. <laughs> it's over. Good job, Peter. Good job. Well done. The walls of reality are rebuilding themselves. And now, you must all return to your own dimension. I just want to say thank you to all of you guys. Thank you for the help. <laughs> it should be us that should be thanking you. I mean, without you, it wouldn't be us. Well, still thank you anyways, guys, for helping me with this. And now... Times must go back to normal. Yeah. But hey. Take care of yourself, Pete. The future's looking really bright for you. So I guess this is goodbye. See you around, Spider-Man. She's not from another universe? No. I got this strange feeling like I've known her for so long huh there she goes well let's get out of here and let the police clean up this <laughs> yeah you hungry of course and so ends one of the most titanic team-ups of all time and what have we learned here today marvelites that no matter what corner of the cosmos you may find yourself in, there'll always be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man to save the day. And to all of you web-spinning wonders, I proudly say, Excelsior! exactly what the Yakuza need. And that is what I want. And I know just where to go to get the perfect men. <laughs> <laughs>